So I'm new at this. This is the first time I've ever attempted to restore uh, a Singer sewing machine. But I, I have been researching the way that people have been uh, sanding and buffing their commutator. And I think they're making a big mistake. The first thing to understand is these phases of the commutator that interact with the brushes, those are a bunch of uh, machined plates that are pressed together and then they were molded separate from each other and insulated with this Bakelite. Okay, so it's important that these phases remain apart from one another. That's the first thing. The other thing too is that all of these um, insulated wires here, these are introducing the phases of the motor to the uh, to the copper coils that are braided around the entire actuator. Um, I have a feeling that people have been sanding away the bake light that's separating the phases. Because I think what's happening is they're confusing. See these dark, it almost looks like shadows, like, like movement shadows. I don't think that's uh, carbon scoring because I just used a eraser on this. I think that's Bakelite. I think that is the way that this was manufactured. And I think it was more important to the people who manufactured this to, uh, because it, what I'm guessing they did was after they poured the Bakelite and it molded itself, then they probably had to um, machine it away to create this perfect cylinder shape. Um, and the sandpaper that people have been using is changing that geometry, which means that you're getting a less uh, electrical contact with the uh, commutator. But also I believe that the reason why people are feeling like they need to sand it away, see how it's that dark brown color? It's kind of, I have a crappy camera unfortunately, but as I get closer to it, you notice it's not carbon. That's already been rubbed away. I think this is Bakelite. It's Bakelite that was left over from the molding process when this actual when this commutator was made. So I think you guys are making a big mistake. I don't like I said, this is my first time doing this. I don't know it, but I work with three-phase electric motors and I know for a fact that you're not supposed to mess with the geometry on this. Uh, <laughs> we use resolver rings and um, and we know that Polar North is supposed to be a certain way. Now, this is a brush motor, so it's a little bit different. But, yeah, I would stop doing that if I were you guys.